How many of you have done chromatography before? What is it? All right. Well, in this packet, we have our ink samples. Is this like litmus paper? It's not litmus paper. It's a special type of paper called chromatography paper. You can actually do this at home, though, with coffee filters. You cut up, cut up coffee filters. And what we have on every strip is a dot of ink. Okay? So we want to unfold them because we have them nice and long. Flip it over. Flip it over. Oh, sorry. We want the side with the line facing up. So this one's crime scene. That one's Ms. Brown. That one's Mr. Anderson and Mr. Chase. So why don't we look at the dots first and see if we can see any difference before we do the chromatography. So what chromatography does is different substances in the ink travel a different distance in the water. And so what's going to happen when we put these in, the water is going to get sucked up, kind of like a straw, through the chromatography paper. And it's going to take some of the things from the ink along with it. And depending on how heavy they are, they're going to travel different distances. And so what we're going to hope is that things that we can't see now are going to show up through the chromatography. Well, first of all, these two are blue and these two are black. So they're different colors. No, this one's green. Oh, it is? Well, they're all different colors. We know that. Well, not all of them, but two are the same color. So we know that. So, um... Let's um, start with, would, would anyone like to start first? Um, would you? You start first. So before we even put them in, you guys are thinking what? <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Before we even put them in, you guys are having that assumption.